I have $600 in a fund that I'm using to purchase my dream sneaker collection. And obviously $600 isn't gonna get me very far. So we're going to stores like this Goodwill behind me looking for underpriced shoes that we can resell online for a profit. So let's hop inside and see what we can find. So we have a few stores other than just Goodwill in mind today because the thrift stores around us at least have been absolutely dry lately. That's why it's been a couple weeks since the last end of the Sneakerverse upload. So if this Goodwill doesn't hit, this is probably the last one we're going to today. <laughs> All right, so I found a, I don't even know what these are, some just generic Jordans. Not a retro or anything, but they have been priced at $30. But blue is half off, so these are only 15. Maybe they'll be worth a look up. Sometimes Jordans surprise me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look these up. They do have a lot of hair all over them. Do you wanna clean all the hair up? No, I'll let you do that. <laughs> Not too far away. I don't know. He's like Jason Kidd. I think they're Jason Kidd's signature shoe, but unfortunately, they are uh, just completely falling apart. So that one's a no no, no go. Uh, we got some Steph Curry's down here. Some low tops. I don't know what number this is. Fifteen dollars, but it's just a lot of paint. A lot of paint. I don't think that'll clean off very easy. This one, kind of a boring find, but honestly, probably a good pickup. These are made in the USA New Balances. They are 1540 V2s, really good condition. They're only 1250, so good size. Women's nine and a half wide, definitely grabbing these. We got something, we got something. I found some free people boots for $15. Okay. Dalton walked right by them. I have I have no idea if this is a good pickup or not. I mean, not. I would have picked these up, but what? I didn't consider sell-through rates, so these might. We're gonna have to look them up. Take a We're gonna do out. some research. Okay. These brooks are in decent condition. These are pretty They're colors. Anthem threes. I'm gonna think about it. We got a pretty big budget. I can be a little, a little lenient with what I'm picking up. Oh, we got some Hoka's, Hoka somethings for six dollars. Oh, these are the ones that were like melted. We saw those. Yeah, these have been here for a while. I see some off-white Converse. Do we have hope that these are real? I'm also getting a phone call. Oh. Dower, Delaware. I'm gonna pass <laughs> on that one. All right. Even Star. They are. They're not even Converse. They are in Flyverse Even Star. <laughs> well, hopes for high for a second. <laughs> I have to mention this because the last time I mentioned how much I hated Buckies, some people went wild in the comments. But uh, found some Buckies slip-ons. Wanted nice. to point out just because Buckies is the worst gas station on the planet. I like Buckies, <laughs> but I I'm usually not driving, so I understand I, why it's bad if you're driving. They're not the worst on the planet. They're just the most overrated. It's just let's crowded. Leave it at that. It's always crowded, and their food sucks. I like their food. <laughs> Carly likes bland food. <laughs> well, we got some AE Trex. I don't know how to pronounce that. AE Trex. I've sold this for good money in the past. Um, I'll probably look up this model. They are kind of small though. EU 30. Well, oh, women's size six. It's not that bad. I might look these up. It looks like some Doc Martens up here for 20 bucks. We sold the other Doc Martens pretty quick. I don't know if I've told you that or not yet, but we did. We did. Also a women's size five. Weren't the other ones we picked up a women's size five? They were small. Yeah, I don't remember if that was. I have something in my throat right here. Mm. <clears throat> it's like a like a loogie. That's something. attractive. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna think about these. What'd you say? I said that's attraction. <laughs> I'm gonna go through everything that we uh, picked up and see what is that we are actually keeping. But I did mention that we have $600 in our sneaker fund, and if you caught last episode, that's a lot higher than what we finished off last episode. So let's rewind a little bit, go back to the apartment, and I'll show you guys what sold over the past couple weeks to build our fund up as high as it is. Since last episode, we had 13 sales come in. We've almost sold out of everything. All that we have left are the Magnani's, which honestly I thought would sell by now, but I might have them priced too high, but the Magnani's and the Rifle Paper Co. Kids. So we're pretty cash heavy right now, but let's start off with the best sale since last episode. And you could probably guess it was the New Balance 990 V6s that we got from Goodwill for $35. I don't know how these made it to half off. I would have happily paid $70 for them. But if you saw the episode, I decided to go back the next day since they literally dropped to $35 the, the day after we went to that Goodwill. So anyway, we paid $35 and they ended up selling on eBay in like three days after listing them for $179 plus shipping. So taking out all all the fees where we were left with $141 on just that one sale to put back into the fund. And then if you remember at that same stop on half off day, we got a pair of Nike Air Max 95s. They also made it half off. We paid $45 for those and they ended up selling for 80 plus shipping, leaving us with a $20 profit. And then the other 11 sales are definitely what I would consider to be your average bread and butter sale. So I'm going to run through those real quick. We sold the Brooks Adrenaline 22s, the women's size 11, mind you, that I almost didn't pick up because I thought they were too bad, but they sold pretty quick. 
quick. They went for $38 on Poshmark. The Youth Nike Dunk golf shoes from the first episode, those things were sick. I wish they were worth more money, obviously, but we paid 15 for them. They sold for 28 plus shipping, so just over a $10 profit after fees on those. The Doc Martens that I alluded to earlier in today's video, the size five that we picked up for 15, they sold for $39 plus shipping, leaving us like an $18 profit. The New Balance 5.7 sold for $35, a little bit over a double up on those. We sold our other pair of Nike Dunks for $30. The Nike Air Max 2017s went for 42 bucks. The Hoka Clifton 4s, they sold for $33 plus shipping. The Nike Air Force One Swoosh Fetty, I think the, I think the style was called, those sold for $49 over on Poshmark. And then the Nobles that we picked up, they sold for $35 plus shipping. And lastly, the Brooks Ghost 15s, they sold for $35 over on Poshmark as well. So all of those sales added together gave us a gross total of $623 in sales. Taking out our fees, we were left with $520.37 to add back into the fund, which we left off last episode with $178.80, bringing our new fund total up to $699.07. So I know earlier in the video, I said we were just over 600, but we were quite a bit over 600. We're almost to $700 in the fund today. So with that being said, let's try to go spend all $700. All right, so here's what we're ending up with. I am going to go ahead and pull the trigger on these docks. The last pair of size five that we picked up sold pretty quick for 40, so this could be a, a quick double up. The Jordans, I'm actually gonna pick these up. I think that these will sell for like 35 to 45 plus shipping, and they're only 15, so good profit on those. These Atrex, the model is Jillian, and they have over 100% sell-through rate on eBay, so definitely grabbing those. And then these free people, Carly kind of found a little uh, banger here. They don't have a great sell-through rate, but they don't have a terrible sell-through rate. And there were some solds over $100 pre-owned for these, so this might be a might be a little come up. We'll see. So that's that. Let's go to uh, let's go to Plato's Closet. First up, we got what was that? Five pairs of shoes. One, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes, and we spent $78.25. So our fund is now down to like 530-ish, and like I said, we're going to Plato's. So we'll see you there. Okay, so I just went through all the men's. I'm probably gonna double check the women's. Carly went through it and she found these uh, Jordan 1 Elevate Highs. Uh, they're a nice colorway, black with the gum bottoms, and we think they're brand new and they're only $50. So we're gonna pick these up for 50. We'll probably sell these as brand new. I don't think they've been worn. And then over in the men's, I found these off-white, um, I'm not sure what the exact model is called, but they're only $40. And I looked them up, this is a women's shoe, but this is a size women's 12 and a half, which is a good thing for shoes like this because a man can buy these because these are technically a men's uh, 11, right? Yeah. Men's 11. So for $40, this is probably gonna flip into $180 to $100. So that's a good pickup. And then I found these alternate Bel Air Jordan 5s. I can't remember how much they were. They're 60. Uh, this is one that I think that we could comfortably get over $100 for. So another one I'm gonna pick up. There's a couple dunks behind the counter over there that I'm gonna look at. I have a $10 off. So I think I can get one of the dunks down to $35, which I think is a great price for a pair of dunks. So I'm gonna double check the women's and then check those out. And we'll recap after we leave. All right, so here's everything we ended up with. We grabbed two pairs of dunks on the way to check out. These were behind the counter, and these I just saw sitting on the shelf. They're both $35 each. I think these will sell for probably 70 plus shipping, so um, double our money before fees on that one, and then probably the same on this. This is men's size eight or men's size nine, something like that. Men's size eight. These were 45 but I used my $10 coupon to get these down to 35 I didn't really look them up, but it's clean colorway. They're really good condition, so hoping to get at least $20 profit on those. And then everything else should sell for right around hundred bucks. The uh, Jordan 1 Elevates, brand new. The Off-Whites and a good women's size 12 and a half. And then these uh, Bel Air Jordan 5s. Again, paid up for stuff, $40, $50, $60, but still plenty of room to profit. We're gonna stop at the post office and then probably head across the street. There's like a Nike outlet, a Ross and some other stuff. We'll go see what we can find over there. Um, first off, I never mentioned how much I spent. I think it was $220 even. Doesn't sound right. $220 even, so we're down to uh, 510, 410, about $310 in the fund. So let's go see if we can spend the rest of that. All right, so we made it to the Nike outlet. The back wall is 30% off. So I'm going to go through everything and see if we can find anything underpriced here. So uh, I'll keep you posted. Also, I need to mention, I got the Spideys on the feet. So uh, we're hoping to like sling in some profit. That is so awkward to watch. Do we think Miss Carly could pull these off? I feel like with some like denim overalls, the sad, I could make it happen. The sad part is she's probably being serious. 
I'm in my like colorful era. These are out there. I would wear them. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so far we've really only found one thing. There's there hasn't been too much. They are some track spikes. They were tagged at 19.97, so they're only like 13 bucks. I know they're refurbished, but they're still brand new. They'll still pass. They have over 100% sell through rate on eBay, I think. Don't quote me on that, but they were selling for like 60 to 70, so that's a really good flip. Even without the spikes. Um, we can just get some on Amazon. They're super, I've been meaning to buy some. They have, you can buy like 500 spikes on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Oh, that was nice. an exaggeration, but it's, <laughs> they're, they're cheap. Is that, oh, I thought that said $20. I got excited with the metal ones. They've still got a ton of these uh, DJ Khaled Jordan 5s. I'm about to drop this. Um, I really like these, can you hold that? I think that we need to get a pair of these for Carly. I'm we not, the best. But you know. Yeah. She's not into the same kind of sneakers that I am. I'm not. It's sad. She likes the colors though. I do. Yeah. They got a bunch. They're 180 plus 30 percent off. Uh, probably not worth it. I might might scan one just to double check, but I mean, since there's so many here, I doubt that they're worth grabbing at that. These Jordan Eights are only 75. Look pretty good on the bottom. I need to look those up. We got some Jordan 12 golf shoes. I'm assuming full price plus the 30. Off. <sighs> Still only one pair though. Still hmm. only one pair. Don't hmm me. <laughs> okay, so we only got the one pair of shoes at the Nike store. We paid $12.57 for those, if you can see that. Uh, afterwards, we popped into the Crocs outlet to see if they had anything on clearance <laughs> worth grabbing, and they didn't. Usually that's just for Amazon, so I didn't really record it since we're only doing eBay and that kind of flips for the series. But anyway, uh, there's a Ross over there somewhere. I think we're gonna pop into there. That might be our last stop. We spent quite a good bit of the fund already, so hopefully we can finish strong. I do wanna know though, since our fund is already built up pretty high, would you guys prefer me to knock out some of the higher end sneakers first, like save up our fund to get the uh, chunky dunks first, or should we start checking off some of the, like, the, the, ch the cheaper shoes off the list? What do you think? I think that the chunky dunks are the best one, so like you should like do that last. But I also want you to get them soon, so like. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Maybe I should save it for last. Maybe, Maybe. we should go for the Watherspoons for first. How I don't much know. Are those ones? Uh, like a thousand dollars. Just a thousand. It's 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 not that bad. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. We're gonna pop in at Ross. <laughs> Did you want me to say something? No, I just want to make. We're you feel, at Ross. I just want to make you feel awkward. Uh, yeah, we are at Ross. We made it. <laughs> Such a long drive. Yeah, it was. Speaking of Sean Watherston, <laughs> we found his uh, Shelto uh, Adidas Superstar collab. I'm not a big fan of these. Uh, yeah, I don't know. These will get dirty because you step on them. Yeah. These have been around for a while. They're only $30, so a good price for personal, but I think that they're flooded. I might look them up and see if the floods died off a bit, but these have been here for quite some time. Went through the men's already, and I think these are the only pair that I'm gonna get. They're Merrill Trail Gloves. Um, they're only $35. This is a really good model from Merrill. These have 100% sell-through rate in men's sizing. These are good men's nine and a half. These sell for like right around $60 to $80, so there's probably at least $20 profit in these, so I'll probably go ahead and pick these up, but we still gotta go through the women's. Some uh, honorable mentions though. They have a few pairs of the Lamellos here for $50. It's a good price, uh, but they just, there's not a lot of profit to be made. Like they have that colorway and there's another one up here. Um, there's been a bunch of them popping up at Ross. Good price for personal, but not really to resell. I don't know if these are crazy eights, I think, for 45. Looked those up last time I was here and they're not really selling, so. They look like tractors or like um, construction. Yeah, construction. Things. Just in case you need to uh, <laughs> go ball out after your construction job. <laughs> okay, so we didn't uh, want to wait in the line at Ross. It for was those, very long. It was very long for those one shoes. Uh, but there is a Hibbit right over here. Uh, I have no idea if there's a sale going on or what, but we're gonna pop in and check it out. Cause oh, after that, we probably got one more Goodwill that's next to our house and we're done for the day. So let's see what they got. Okay, so we're here at Goodwill. Um, <laughs> We didn't get anything at Hibbit, obviously, so we're a good one now. Uh, we got a little low-key banger. I was a little sad because it looked like we weren't gonna find anything off to a poor start, but then these these uh, inconspicuous black shoes caught my eye, and wow. Lululemon. We got some Lululemon shoes. Uh, they're only $15, and last time I sold these, I sold them for like 75 bucks. I don't know if that's still what they go for, but for $15, we got something. Nice. That's a good one. You that. said it wasn't looking helpful. You've been one like down one aisle. Yeah, the best aisle. The <laughs> men's aisle. <laughs> Look at these little Air Force Ones. Aren't they so cute? Oh, those are so like cute. Little, I like the pink. The sparkly. Stain on the 
<laughs> we got the rare, uh, decently priced boots. We got some area, I think they're called Ramblers. I don't know, I've sold this model a couple of times before. It's only $15. Uh, should flip for like 50 plus shipping, so we got another one. <laughs> we got another one. Is it, how do I find it? Oh. The off button. I got it. Okay, so arm. last stop of the day, we got those two pairs of shoes, Lululemon's and the Ariat boots. Paid $31.90. Um, so that's gonna wrap up. That's gonna wrap up the day. We found some pretty good stuff. Yeah, we did. I'm impressed. Yeah, didn't find a lot, but not bad. Yeah. Not too shabby. So uh, I will uh, see you guys at home for the recap. So there you have it. After a few hours of sourcing today, we managed to find 13 pairs of shoes, paid $342.85 for those shoes, which was only about half of our sneaker fund. So we still have $350 left in the fund. And we now have 15 pairs of shoes in inventory, getting us just one step closer to checking our first pair of shoes off of our sneaker collection list. And oddly enough, the best pair of shoes that we found today were actually the track spikes from the Nike outlet for only $12. After checking comps while putting this video together, I realized that they're probably going to sell closer to $100, which is crazy to, to think that we found them sitting at the Nike outlet for only 12 bucks. And those were actually a better find than the off-whites or the Jordan 5s that we found at Plato's Closet. But anyway, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you watched all the way to the end of this video and you are interested in keeping up with the Into the Sneakerverse series, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you get notified the next time an upload is posted. If you haven't already caught the beginning of the series. I'll put episode one in the top corner of the screen right here. Make sure to check that out. Get caught up on the series and I'll see you guys in episode four.